Can you imagine a way that uh, religion or spiritual activities could actually contribute to less violence moving forward? Yeah, um, they, they, I show this in the book, always along, alongside these imperial movements, because once you become an empire, your religion, which permeates everything, gets, uh, you know, an, as, uh, an aggressive, ruling, imperialistic edge and goes in for war. Alongside it, there were always those who spoke up for the ideal of compassion. Um, in Confucian China, for example, uh, Confucius was the first to formulate the golden rule, as far as we know. And Confucians were in the government, in the head, head of civil government, right up until the, uh, re the 1911 revolution. Um, and the monks' monasticism began as an old, a defiant alternative. Um, now that uh, we're so busy keeping religion out of politics, uh, that people have retreated into sort of saying their prayers and singing their hymns, etc., and are not making this kind of uh, contribution. We need somehow to create a vibrant alternative. Uh, they were never able, uh, these movements, to prevail against the aggression of the empire, which was, rule, which was maintained by force, founded by force. Um, no state, however pacific it is, can disband its army. Um, but I think one of the things we must do, and religions must do it, we must all do it, whether we're secular or, um, or, or, or religious, is to get a global sense. We are now living in a global world. What happens uh, when stocks fall, fall in one part of the world, the markets plummet all around the world that day. So interconnected are our, our economies. Um, and, you know, uh, it, while I've been traveling here from far away London, uh, 18 Britons have been slaughtered on the beaches of Tunisia. This is now, uh, 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 th this is now a, a, a global concern. The religions at their best all insisted that you could not confine your benevolence to your own group. Uh, you had to have concern for everybody, said one Chinese sage, Even, and, you, and uh, rulers must regard another's state as kept with the same concern as his own, said Mosi, fourth century BC. Um, and too many, yeah, okay. So, um, love your enemies, said Jesus. Love, your, love the stranger, says Leviticus. Reach out to all tribes and nations, says the Quran. And so that we must now get this global view uh, and realize, for example, 90% of the people who've been dying in Afghanistan and Iraq have been civilians. Men, women, and children who were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time, and we never mention these. And I'd like to see church, churches and mosques and synagog synagogues mentioning these people we, who, who are just... Otherwise, we give the impression that we think some lives are more valuable than others. Um, so I'd like to see the religions, and if they're going to be too busy singing their hymns, um, let the secularists do something to form th this kind of global sense uh, that... Uh, say Paris, for example, I don't know what the press was like here, but we were glutted with images of Paris in January. But three days earlier, uh, Boko Haram had slaughtered 2,000 uh, men, women, children, and the elderly in Nigeria. They got a tiny little mention in the newspaper. Uh, a few weeks earlier, 145 Pakistani children had been killed in, uh, by the Taliban. And we must mourn these people, too. I'd like to see uh, churches take, or synagogues, mosques play, taking a lead. And when something like that happens, to, to go and lay flowers outside or to march, just as people were marching in Paris, to march for the Pakistani children, too. Uh, to, in these practical ways, to make it clear that we are now one people, one world. We can't get live without one another. When the epigraph of my book is the Cain and Abel story. And uh, Cain uh, is asked by God, what have you done? And he said, I know, 
Am I the guardian of my brother? And very often we have that attitude, oh, it's happening far away. We concentrate on the nation state and we don't care. I don't know. Um, we are the guardians of our brothers and sisters. And God says, what have you done? Hark, your brother's blood is crying to me from the soil. And when we hear about these deaths in, 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 in Nigeria, in Pakistan, in Palestine, we've got to remember that it's our brother's blood that is crying to us from the soil. Thank you.